Welcome to a series of tutorials exploring all aspects of Flapjack. Flapjack is an open source, multi-platform application providing interactive visualizations and analysis of high throughput genotype data. Hello and welcome to this Flapjack tutorial where we will cover the following topics, input file structure and input file format. Four basic file types can be imported into Flapjack and input files should be created in tab delimited format. The examples we'll look at have been created in Microsoft Excel. Let's look at examples of each file type. A map file should contain a header line, hashtag FJ file equals map. It should contain a column with your marker name, a column with your chromosome designation, and a column with physical or genetic marker location. Don't panic if your chromosome and locations aren't in order, as Flapjack will do this for you. A genotype file should contain a header line, hashtag FJ file equals genotype. It should contain a column containing your sample name, a row containing marker names, which should match the marker names in your map file, and allele scores from your successful assay. A map and genotype file are all that's required to create a flat project, but additional information can also be added to enhance your analysis. A phenotype file should contain the header line hashtag FJ file equals phenotype. It should contain a row of sample names which match your genotype file and columns which contain phenotype scores in either categories or numbers. A features or QTL file contains the header line hashtag FJ file equals QTL and that should contain a minimum of seven columns. Column A contains your QTL name, columns B and C refer to QTL chromosome and marker location which must match the marker information in your map file. Columns D to E, that's position minimum and pos position maximum, refer to the range where your QTL lies on the map. Column F contains trait name and column G refers to the experiment in question. Additional information can be added to also enhance your analysis. We are now at the stage where we can create a flapjack project. In the next tutorial, we will look at importing your data. Thank you for watching and we hope you find this tutorial helpful. Further support can be found within the help menu in Flapjack or by emailing flapjack at hutton.ac.uk